All right, let's talk about this SSL Fusion. I see a lot of people that have this and they love it. However, I don't think people know how all of these features work because there's a lot going on. Let's start with the vintage drive. So there's a lot going on here. Obviously this introduces harmonics so that you get like the hardware feel or like that tape saturation style. But there's a couple things that I don't think people realize. One thing I don't like about it is that it introduces a tape hiss in the track and it's pretty audible but to get rid of that it's kind of counterintuitive you have to increase the drive and the density and it will go away so to mitigate that causing too much saturation you have to decrease the input trim the other thing is as you increase the density it's taking away the harmonics and it's introducing third order harmonics but it's also acting as like a soft compression slash clipper and it's like rounding out the transients of the waveform so that's good to keep in mind next is this high frequency compressor now some people know if you hold down this input button for five seconds it'll switch this over to a full range frequency compressor where the crossover knob now becomes a wet and dry mix knob so that's cool the other thing is this stereo image now this kind of weirded me out because I wasn't sure what was going on. But when you engage this, now you're working in mid side and you're increasing the width of the sides. The space knob, which is adding depth and stuff, is adjusting the low frequencies, which SSO hasn't made public what that frequency uh, crossover point is, but a lot of people suspect it's around 300 hertz. So when you increase this, you're increasing the low end that, are, that is going into the sides. And when you decrease it, you're kind of making it a more mono signal and taking it away from the sides sick next we have this transformer button so the thing about this is it's nice but it introduces a roll-off around 40 hertz that is a 16 uh, db roll-off and the more you increase the input of the signal the more that it takes away from the low end so keep that in mind it'll also increase like a little shimmer in the high end as well and then finally, we have this mid-side insert button. So this Alexia X-Filter EQ is inputted into the Fusion. And if I hold this down, now it'll be in mid-side mode, which is cool. However, if I use pre-Q, this means that it's going before or after the stereo image if it's in mid-side. If it's in regular mode, pre-Q means it's going before the Violet EQ. And if I turn it off, it is now after this in a signal chain. I did not know that for a long time. So the SSO Fusion is super dope. If I got rid of all this and wanted to keep one piece of hardware, I'd keep this one because there's so many features about it and it works on everything. So there you go. 